walk us through um, the conversion rates that you saw from visitors and then ultimately people that ended up buying. And um, we know that there was 251 that ended up purchasing the plan, but yeah. talk us through how that kind of translated from traffic to ultimate paying subscriber. You know, the beauty of Black Friday, uh, if you guys are considering doing this kind of deal in the future, the beauty of Black Friday is that uh, you only measure conversion to paid plans to your subscribers, right? So this is like the ultimate goal to have as many people as possible to subscribe. To subscribe. Um, so uh, we had like 4,000 sessions on this landing page that we created for uh, for Black Friday deal. It was a nice long uh, sales page that we created specifically because we knew that we will have some cold traffic there and the conversion of this page was 6% as you can probably count yourself. <laughs> so it was it was spectacular because normally our conversion rate for our website for the trial user is 1% for the whole website. So seeing uh, 6% uh, on this landing page was huge and to give you like a better perspective, we normally uh, got one to five customers at its best daily uh, to our user base. And during those four days of promotion, Black Friday promotion, we earned 60 users per day, wow. around 60 users. So it was huge. It was like me and the whole team, we were just sitting and refreshing Stripe to see those numbers growing. Uh, it was crazy, you know, vanity metrics. <laughs> No, but it was uh, it was very nice experience in yeah. th those terms, definitely. Yeah, that's awesome. That's an incredible conversion rate from uh, a landing page from a relatively cold audience. Um, yeah, that's very very high. Now it, we've talked a little bit about conversion, the number of clients. Talk to us about the number or the revenue that that was influenced by the campaign. Uh, sure. Uh, so. Our revenue, uh, we got, because of the yearly plans, we got like $20K uh, directly to our bank account, which was huge. Our monthly recurring revenue uh, jumped by uh, $13K, which for a small smart startup, we were just seven people back then. We are 15 right now. So back then it was a huge uh, boost in our uh, revenue. Uh, and it definitely helped us uh, hire uh, three new people basically to our team the whole you know all our activities from November helped us hire uh, great developers to our team so that's like the most positive outcome from this campaign I would say having great talents uh, in our team right now that's awesome um, and so I guess we can kind of do some math here and there was 3k on the black hat uh, Friday website and then there's another additional one thousand dollars spent on um, facebook and google ads so yeah. if we're looking at 4k in spend um, walk us through some of those metrics around the cost of acquiring a new customer and the cheap the plans that they were signing up for um, to give us an idea of of how, what that cac looks like so yeah as you probably can cal calculate yourself we spent a four thousand dollars in total when it came uh, when it comes to paid promotion uh, the main investment was our time and our you know, programmers, product people, and our marketing team. Uh, we spend a lot of time crafting emails, creating the landing page, uh, doing some crazy copywriting stuff. Uh, back then, investing in design. Um, so basically, for one customer, and just note that our cheapest plan is twenty nine dollars. Um, for one customer, uh, when it comes to uh, paid advertising, it was fifteen dollars per uh, per new subscriber. So the you know the uh, return of investment was huge for us and no doubt that it paid off for us back then uh, and it gave us the boost that we needed. I, I wouldn't break down to those channels because I know that you <laughs> would like to hear it. Uh, I can tell you that from, from like um, paid advertisement we got 1000 visitors on our page and the conversion was very similar between those channels. From the Black Hat Friday it was 300, 400 people but you know uh, the, high, the buyer intent was really high from those people. So it was still uh, a good traffic, high quality traffic. 